This particular patient had declining health for uh, a period of time before she got admitted to Mercy Medical Center, but because of her poor health before she got admitted to the hospital and after she's been in the hospital for two months, uh, her apartment was in quite a bit of disarray. Uh, it was quite dirty and unorganized, dirty dishes, food had gone bad and spoiled. She wasn't confident that she'd be able to make it and succeed at home once she was discharged from the hospital. Well, I, I, I kept asking her, what is your plan after you leave? How are you gonna get groceries? Because knew, we knew she lived in an upper apartment and with her health issues, she had a lot of breathing issues where she couldn't exert herself a lot. So I said, well, not being home for two months, you know, you're, you need new gro groceries, you probably need things washed, and everything was on the first floor. And, and it was getting very cold outside. I said, well, there's no way you can get medicine. Um, she didn't really have, she had a track phone, which was pretty much out of minutes. So we're like, well, if something goes wrong, there's not somebody there, and you don't have any way of getting a hold of anybody. So that just really made us nervous to send her home. Mm -hmm. It was just like one thing after another. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a woman who had a job, had some bad luck. Mm -hmm. Could be you, could be could be any of us. Right. And things just hit a downward slide. Okay. So and she had nobody to help her, so yeah. we thought, well. It was a Friday after work. We got together, drove over to this woman's apartment. Um, got some cleaning supplies, met Janet's husband there. And with the woman's permission, we got the keys, went into the apartment, vacuumed. I think we did a lot of dishes, provided the woman with groceries, uh, laundry, took the garbage out, just made the environment a lot you know, conducive to her return home. Um, and I think it really helped. These three therapists took it upon themselves. They kind of found a higher calling to uh, to uh, step up to the plate and really help out a patient, you know, beyond just kind of our normal jobs. Person-centered care, you know, it's what we're about. It's in our mission and our promise to people who are coming into our facilities through ministry. So, you know, what we need to do is continue working towards the common goal and really live our mission out. She's been doing really well. Uh, some of the therapists have run into her in the community and she is doing great. She's uh, regained her full health and back to living her life.